friend in the hospital. So, looks like she spilled her water. We need to get a better water situation. But this is the turkey that is having some issues with missing toes. So we're gonna leave her quarantined so we can keep a good eye on her and see how it's going. If we have to process, we'll process, but we'd like to try and heal her up and see if she can get a little bit bigger. Hashi's is winning today, guys. It's winning. My autoimmune Hashimoto's is winning. I'm not doing well. I'm not sure what's going on. I was up all night with the kids. Sarah woke up three times. The dog woke me up once and Sam woke up at really early five o'clock in the morning. That's really hard on me. So, makes me grateful I had babies before Hashimoto slammed me like a bus. So, it's winning, but I'm, I'm fighting. Really beautiful day. It's in the 20s, but I feel, I feel overdressed. It's kind of crazy. But everything, you know, everything's going okay. We got the test results for Sam, and he is not positive for the Epstein-Barr virus. I am, however, which we knew that, we knew that before. Um, Jonah and I have both been treated for the virus on the antiviral. I was retested and it came up that my antibodies are just as high as they ever were. That could actually be the cause of my Hashimoto's altogether. I don't know how long I've suffered from the Epstein-Barr. I never had mono um, as a teenager that I knew of, so I don't know, but that's okay. We'll roll with it. I'm glad we have a doctor that's helping us. Um, most doctors, I mean, how nobody checks for that kind of thing, and it really affects a lot of things. So I'm hopeful that maybe I'll feel a little bit better. We also did some hormone testing. We got those results in. He explained some things to me that were Chinese to my brain. So I'm going to have an appointment in a couple of weeks, and we'll, we'll work on fixing that. So I'm hopeful. But today, Hashi's is not going to win even though I want it to. So this sweet girl is drying up. Yesterday I didn't even get a full quart out of her. So I really, I really do think she's bred. Um, so hopefully that's the case. Um, and then she'll be able to get me through until I can breed the two babies that we had last spring. And then from there, I don't know, we'll figure it out. You're hard at work. Good job, sis. We need to get you dressed, though. Yeah? No? Maybe? She's concentrating hard, guys. I know I look so fabulous. The goats don't care what I look like. So yesterday we only got only about that much milk. So let's see what we get today. No! <laughs> oh! Did we get more than last time? No, we got less. So, you know, Apple's looking bigger to me. So I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure she's bred. And this is what she did last year when she dried off. So it's just going to keep going down and down and down. She will be due. I need to look up the exact dates. She will be due to kid in April. Then we'll have milk in like May. 32 degrees of beautiful sunshine. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I could honestly just be out here without a coat on. I, I just will wear a jacket. We're getting ready to run some errands. Chickens are out here pecking through the turkey mess that we need to clean up. Um, I, again, I'm super impressed with our cremation site. It's like, it's like gone. So, it's definitely something we're gonna do again. But, I just wanted to share this beautiful sunny moment with you, <laughs> because I'm awesome. I'm gonna move this so the chickens can clean up the food. And we need to get it cleaned out for Sophie. I really do prefer to have her in a kennel while we're gone or at night. What are you doing out here, my friend? All right, that'll do for now. We'll clean it up a little bit later. Uh, an extra jacket. 
to a gas pump and no diesel. Guess I'll be moving. This is better. Have I ever really told the story of what happened to this truck? So, <laughs> I've been open that I have Hashimoto's and early in my Hashi's days that I wasn't sure what was going on with me. Um, there was one day I was like, I need to go to the butcher shop and I need something. I don't remember, even remember what it was. I think I wanted to roast. And I was like, I'm gonna go. And I didn't care that I didn't feel good. I was like, I'm just, I'm just gonna go. And so I got in the car, truck, I drove there, and then I backed into a telephone pole. It's kind of in the middle of the parking lot. It happens a lot, because they have like a barricade around it, kind of, but obviously that didn't stop me from smashing the truck into it. It was pretty special. That was one phone call I just certainly did not want to make, um, but it was an eye-opening experience to say, you aren't okay, and um, that perhaps I needed to look into some options to fix me. And uh, we're still working on it. It's been about three years, we're still working on it. Every day's a little bit of a struggle. Some days better than others, but um, we're, we're hanging in there. Even though we told Siri to bring us to the feed store before the Home Depot, she did not and I struggle with directions. <laughs> so here we are, we're on a mission. We're on an adventure to get some wood. Jonah didn't have the truck with him at work today, so he has enlisted our help because we were already coming into town. Can we do it, Sarah? Can we get the wood dad needs? No. Let's find out. We need two by fours and about 12 of them. never ask me to do this again. <laughs> yes. So it's been it's it's been several hours. Well not several, it's been a few hours since we've been gone. The door! And <laughs> we've got you know we didn't lose anything. I was a little bit worried. But Jonah said we should be fine and we were. So off to the next adventure. Been gone all day. This is the kind of day that you wish you had pizza delivery available to you <laughs> both financially and a pizza place that would actually deliver to your door or i wish there was a pizza hut not pizza hut little caesar's pizza that was close but then we've got the gluten free <laughs> but then we've got the gluten free to deal with we've been gone all day and it's dinner time and i'm whining and so is he i don't know what his problem is all right i'm um that's not dinner. 
So no, no, put it back. You already had one today. Put it back. Those are the treats that we got from an outlet store. Jonah and I went shopping and got a whole bunch of really awesome, almost expired food. <laughs> like these Annie's bunnies, they were only 50 cents, 50 cents for that box. And these Lara bars were only 75 cents. So we scored big on some snacks. All right, I'm up, I'm out, I'm going up to do my homework. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> the hardest part about public school is the homework. Um, I mean, I, I see the necessity in it, but it's really hard for me as a mom to have a dog yell at me all day. That struggle's real. But it's hard for me as a mom to have them gone all day long. And then we get done with the day, everything's settling down. You want to just enjoy each other and relax. And instead, no, Emma needs to do homework. And I am so incredibly proud of that girl and how well she maintains her homework and, and everything on her own. I mean, she's very self-motivated and I really appreciate that. I appreciate this sweet girl that helps me. She's gonna help do the dishes. It's just a big old teamwork day, especially on days when mom's not feeling so great, huh, oh, Ness? Mm -hmm. So I appreciate this child. I appreciate this one, even though she um, does things she shouldn't. Leave the water in the sink. <laughs> okay? And uh, this sweet boy is amazing too. He's my muscles. Are you gonna help me get the feet out of the back of the truck? <laughs> He's tired, but um, it's teamwork. Teamwork, teamwork. That's what makes this household run. <laughs> guesses as to who is wiping off my board. I wonder who. Yeah, I wonder who. I know it's not pizza and I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> At least it's farm fresh from the neighbor. Right? Okay. Here we go. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, get her out. Do you want to hold her and I'll spray her, or do you want yep. me to spray her? I've heard the blue coat will stain bad, so we got to just be careful. Oh, about clothes and what? Yeah. Did I you, is this someone's pathetic <laughs> method for tying it up? Yep. Oh, wow. She's got a lot more energy. Good. Yesterday, she didn't even bite. Hey, Sam. Did you hear that? Yes, she hissed at you. That's good. Okay, here I'll take. Okay, so this coloring, I mean, it's just probably bruised, right? Mm -hmm. They don't feel, they look bruised and very sore. They look normally warm. Uh -huh. Hey guys, the goat's okay? Yeah. I don't think how bruised Okay, cool. So, let's, I can put your shop toe. In so the let's way. see, she's yeah. got no rear toe. Missing the front toe now. She still has two claws there. That's okay, good. so this looks really good compared to yesterday. She has all three claws here, missing the rear toe. Yeah. Okay, I don't it's... want to spray this on you. Okay, I want this piece of wood off. Wood? Mm. Whoa. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Way better than the other stuff. Yes. All right. Let's let them dry. All right, that'll be good. Ooh. Before we put her in there. Mm -hmm. You still think we had a color? I don't know. She's showing some good improvements. So I think if she can, if her quality of life once she heals is going to be okay, then I'm I'm okay. I think it will. I think she'll be able to balance and be okay with the toes. It's going to be the run. Yeah. And we'll let her get bigger, and then we'll and then we'll process her. So that's what I struggle with. Let her with. Live out for a little bit. That's what I struggle with is make her heal and go through all this just to, just to call eat her. her later. But I mean, it's well, we'll give her more time to live. Yep. Her energy's up from yesterday. I think that's a sign of improvement. Yep. Yesterday she wouldn't run for me at all. That's good. Well, and she's so little. Even if we called her, she would not really be a meal. No. She's so little. Oh, really? It's yes. like on Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Spray on cheese. Spray on cheese. Okay, put her in. Yep. Okay. 
Hey, baby. There you go. So, um, so we'll keep you updated on the health of this sweet turkey. We believe it's a hen um, based mm -hmm. on size and another one of our... And she's not showing any of the other signs of a tom. Yeah, like not the snood. Yeah. I think it's called. called a snood. I don't know. Anyway, so this is all part of learning. Coloring, yeah. Yeah. So. I think she'll pull through, so I we'll hope keep so. her, get her fattened up, and then, then we'll eat her. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, yeah, I just, I think it, I would prefer to respect her life as she's older instead of eating her young. She's, so. she's still got life in her, so. For sure. Anyway, it'll be great. And thanks for learning along here with us. We'd like to thank you for joining us today here on our crazy life adventure that we like to call homesteading. Make sure to give us that thumbs up if you would, it helps us out. And hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. She likes to black with the sunflowers. I'm glad that'll be good fat and protein for her. Are you recording? Uh huh. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, come, come on. Yeah, the fat's in there is what I was thinking. Good call. She's water. She's gonna be fine. I, she, I'm really hopeful. I was not hopeful this morning. And I'm glad we're keeping her out of the cold. That's one last thing your body has to fight. Right? For sure. You're amazing. I know. <laughs> You're so humble. I know. It's one of my talents. <laughs> it's one of your many beautiful traits. Yeah. <laughs>